Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So let's discuss about flexible taxes in Odoo 16 point of sale. When running a business, you may need to apply different taxes and record transactions on various accounts based on the locations and type of business of your customers and providers. So tax is a compulsory charge that is taken by the government from the people. Now let's see how can we manage flexible taxes in Odoo 16 point of sale. You can just dive into the configuration settings of point of sale and you can manage the uh, taxes under the accounting categories. So here we can manage with the default taxes, default temporary accounts, default journals as well as flexible taxes. Now let's discuss one by one. We are using def the default journal as point of sale for orders and for invoices as customer invoices. So these are the default journal that we are applying in point of sale. So once you get into the point of sale of orders, you can see the name of point of sale and the type is used as miscellaneous and the shortcut is applied as post. Now let's back to the uh, settings and here you can also see the invoice that we are using. I mean, uh, the journal that we use for uh, the invoices are customer invoices because we are going to perform a sales order under this post. So here you can also set the income account and you can see the income account with its type will be uh, income which comes under the asset account. And if you want to set a credit, dedicated credit note, you can just enable this field and you can see the type of this customer invoice is set to sales because we are going to perform a sales operation. And default temporary account that we are going to use is account receivable, which is also a uh, as it account and you can set the type as receivable itself. After that, we can manage with different taxes. So we can manage taxes for products as well as we can also set taxes for, uh, I mean, we can also use default taxes. So if you want to set a tax for product, you can just go to the product tabs and you can choose products. And uh, here we have different products which are available in POS and you can choose one of the product. And we have a field called customer taxes. So this tax will be applied for the product. Now, if you want to apply the taxes uh, as default under the configuration settings, we can manage with the taxes. So currently we have only one tax. So if you want to configure a new tax, just configure it from the configuration settings or you can also configure it from the configuration menu. Okay, now let me create a new tax. As we are going to perform a tax in the uh, sales type, you can set the type as sales and here you can also set the amount of tax that to be applied. So let me set uh, the tax per stage as 50 percentage. And here you can apply the amount. And after that save this. So now let's see how the tax is applied when you have set a default tax as well as a tax for the product. So for that you can just go to the uh, dashboard and uh, choose the uh, session and you can open the shop by setting the yeah, opening balance. So these is the uh, opening balance, which is the uh, balance that left over in the shop. And here you can see, let me choose a product as Equesting Block Screen. So as you choose a Equesting Block Screen, it has applied a tax with 15% because this is the tax that we have applied for the product. Uh, so that the uh, tax that I have given in the product will be applied uh, while considering uh, that product in the POIs. So if no tax is applied for the product, uh, in such cases, we can use the default taxes for the product. Okay, now we can also manage with the uh, flexible taxes. That is, uh, we can also set taxes uh, depending upon the locations as well as for providers. Now let me, um, yeah, make the payment first. Now let's close the session and back to the configuration settings and you would be able to see that we can manage with the taxes under the configuration settings that is uh, for flexible taxes. So uh, when you uh, choose flexible taxes, you can set, use the physical position uh, to set the different taxes uh, by orders or by providers or by yeah location. So here we need to create a physical position. So I'm creating a physical position. Physical position is used for tax mapping purposes and you can either map taxes or you can also map the account. So let me choose uh, 
the physical position here. You can give the name of the physical position. And here I'm going to tax map uh, on product. So currently I'm applied 15 percentage of tax on the product and I need to tax, uh, I mean map that tax to uh, 50 percentage. So let me uh, set a tax mapping from 15 percentage to 50 percentage. Now let's back to the uh, physical uh, position settings and we need to make it available in the POS for that we have to choose it as uh, default and we can also allow to be used in the POS and you can save the changes and once you save the changes you would be able to see uh, this tax will be available in the POS for that you can just go to the dashboard and open the session so we will have a field to choose the physical position here if you want to set the opening balance you can set that or you can also open without setting the balance now let me choose the product which is equestic block screen and here you can see now we have set the default physical position as uh, the physical position that we have created so a tax is mapped from 15 percentage to 50 percentage and that 50 percentage of tax is currently applied here which is super cool right and if you have multiple uh, physical position you can choose from this field and you can set the physical position that to be applied so if you don't want to set any physical position you can choose none and that will be moving to the previous uh, tax which is 15 percentage will be applied for the product which is the tax that we have given under the product form now you can just click on payment and yeah let's back and set it as a physical position tax and click on payment and let's validate this and currently we have made the payment so uh setting of flexible uh, taxes is pretty cool and simple so hope this concept is clear for you thank you for watching the video